welcome you to this GLAM outreach evaluation session. Just presenting our hosts, we have Axel Pettersson from Wikimedia Sweden. You're the GLAM coordinator yes. in Sweden. And we have Jamie, come in, come in. Jamie and Steve. This is actually in 107. That's the GLAM outreach evaluation here. Yep. Yep. And Jamie Anstey from the Wikimedia Foundation. She has been hired like two months ago, right? Three months. Three months ago, and she is taking care of evaluation. She's part of the evaluation team who's trying to get um, the whole evaluation approach better rooted within the community. And my name is Gerd Essemann. I work for the Bern University of Applied Sciences. I'm also involved uh, in several GLAM outreach projects in Switzerland along with the universities. Yeah, and the motivation for this workshop was actually for me unrelated to the whole uh, Wikimedia Foundation initiative, so we kind of met only afterwards. Um, it was kind of the insight that many people are kind of collecting uh, experiences uh, about GLAM outreach. Only part of them are actually being documented. And we actually have a tremendous amount of experiences just sharing somehow in the community. And I think it's very interesting to kind of bring it systematically together to get, get a shared uh, understanding what you can reach actually through certain approaches. And also to start a, a collective learning process. And I think the evaluation approach is will also be very important in our communication with regard to the community, but also uh, with regard to our GLAM partners. So we have to, I guess, uh, as we go on, focus more and more also on communicating the, the positive results of our uh, projects. So now, uh, just introducing the structure of the workshop and then we'll have a short session together and then we will break out and we will see we'll have already prepared some sticky walls also in other rooms uh, and we will be working in groups and we'll especially kind of get your experiences out here on the walls. Who among you has uh, been involved in the GLAM outreach project themselves? Okay. Who has been reporting about this project, kind of evaluating three, four people? Okay. Now we will just walk through the positive outcomes of of uh, different types of approaches which we have collected here on the wiki. I'll just go and switch off the light up front. So you can actually see something. We're just uh, going to quickly browse through that, and I will just ask you to to pop up um, to just to just tell us if you have experiences with such projects with, with other positive outcomes. So we'll just add them to our workshop. Um, okay. Come in. Welcome. <clears throat> so the first type of approach is facilitating discovery of photographs through back, backstage passes, guided tours, etc. So you can see here the outcomes that have been uh, documented so far is that that um, pictures were collected and uploaded to Commons and that Wikipedians got in touch with the GLAM process. Sorry? That's on it's the outreach page. There's a link on the description page of this session. Sorry, I, 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 yeah. I, I lost you maybe, I didn't pay attention. Could you go uh, back and say what is this page about? Uh, what does output mean? Output like? Uh, output is the positive results of uh, an activity. Like we, we say output is something which was planned, the planned result, the outcome uh, that could be go a bit further than what was originally planned. But it's just positive results uh, or outcomes of, uh, of uh, 
For example, an output of a content donation would be uh, uh, so many media images uploaded. Uh, and an outcome might be that so many of those images are then in integrated into Wikimedia articles. Okay, and this is a typology of possible outcomes. Yes. That's actually a typology of approaches, and we have listed the possible outcomes, or that we found actually in, in documented, um, yeah, in, in reports about various clan uh, key corporations. Oh, your, your approach was you read uh, those reports, and yeah. based on that, you made a typology of possible outcomes? No, um, it's not a typology of outcomes, it's a typology of approaches of cooperation types okay. and then I just listed outcomes that were mentioned in the reports and I also asked into the community to provide actually additional input. Uh, there were two or three people who actually added uh, their own stuff as well. Also creating a new type of approach so it's, uh, it's interesting to see what, what other people actually bring in. Importantly, while well, outcomes and outputs are different typologies of uh, results, He's not, we're not focusing on that here, but instead focusing on identifying those for each of these cooperation types. Okay, the, does anybody have anything to add for the guided tours, backside and stage pass cooperation types? No, okay, let's go on. Content donations. Positive outcomes, outputs, or additional images again. Then images into integrated in Wikipedia articles. Then also free licensing of description of background texts on the GLAM website. Free licensing of images on the partner GLAM's website. Increased web traffic for the partner GLAM uh, website. And then also correction of metadata or descriptive data through the community. Has anybody experienced any other positive outcomes in this area? Other than what? Than what is listed here. Well, I would have to read the monster. <laughs> huh? Did you send us the link before? Because yeah, I did. Yes. Okay, sorry. If sorry. you're on the cultural partners mailing list, I've sent it like two or three times over the last <laughs> month. And it's also on the, it's linked also from the description. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you can also we, I, th I would suggest you just walk through quickly. We, in the breakout session, we can also come up with well, things. Importantly, and it's a wiki. You can also you can also add stuff later. Ongoing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is probably missing the, in the last uh, the last point is improvement collection of the partners' club metadata. Yeah. But it, it is also the opposite. I mean, the improvement collection of the articles and okay, cool. uh, file like descriptions by. Anything else? I'm sorry, improvement and correction by description? But I couldn't hear you. You, you can questions. just rewrite these, but in the opposite way. Yeah. I mean, in that say that the improvement and correction of the article data, various wiki, wiki data by GLAM, by, by GLAM institutions. You mean wiki data, wiki data, or information in all? No, just generally information on yeah. all wikis. Yeah, okay, just to make And actually, it could apply to all, all positive effects on the Wikimedia side. Yeah. Well, I like the recognition of the Welcome. Hi. Anything else here? Yeah. Okay, then move on. Is it okay if we just add things directly onto the wiki? Uh, no, just, just, just shout you, we'll take it down, we'll put it on, the, on our sticky walls. It will come up on the wiki later on. But we'll put it on the wiki after. Right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> workshop things out if you like. <laughs> We're trying to do an offline workshop. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. having come in late, I just wanted to clarify that it's actually we're, we're actually looking at the page which is actually sitting inside Wikimedia Outreach. Yeah. Known as GLAM, Evaluation of GLAM Outreach Activities. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. And we're just walking through uh, the different points, so we can add additional stuff if there's something from the group here. And then we'll break out in three groups and work on the sticky walls. I'm uh, not on the wiki, that's why we... I'm sorry, I don't want to be annoying, but um, maybe not everyone in this room has is uh, on this mailing list you just mentioned. Yeah, that's right. And uh, those who are possibly already before yeah. added something, and those who are not, 
Yeah. Uh, they couldn't possibly uh, yeah. quickly read it now at this moment when you're shifting on the, uh, yeah. on the screen. So um, I think one could skip that and uh, if you have something you want people to do or to tell, uh, maybe we could uh, go on with that and if you have something to add, we will do that. Okay, better. so we skip that now and go into the breakout maybe groups? We can, add just, in our breakout yeah. groups. we can add also okay. in the groups, then it's just not a big group, but the small group. Just explain what it is about, what we are yeah. supposed to do, what yeah. we want to teach sure. us, and I'm eager to... Uh, no, we're not teaching, we're yeah. collecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but first I must have a better idea yeah, what I can good. add, and if you, sure. if you just yeah. shortly present what so. this kind of partnership, this kind of partnership, mm -hmm. maybe. Could you tell us shortly that, so that we have a better, better overview? Yeah, I can show you the different types of partnerships. Uh, actually, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So, um, one is the, the guided tour visits backstage passes, which I, I put into one type of type, then content sorry, donations. Sorry. Uh, you are shifting, go, go, go back, go back. Yeah. So, and there's a facilitating discovery. Yeah. That's the uh, name. Facilitating photographs. Okay, exactly. facilitating discovery That's must be my head. Yeah. It's about backstage and have a look at the museum. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Good. Then the second. The second one is content donations, content partnerships. Mm -hmm. it can be with regard to comments, with regard to like text into Wikipedia. The museum or also has photos or we go there and take yeah. them. Yeah, or some people do it with regard to a wiki source, huh? right? Mm -hmm. Then we have digitization projects, where the community or um, people can be paid by Wikimedia chapters are digitizing for the land, or in cooperation with the land. Then the fourth type is article improvement, like through writing challenges, editathons, stuff like that. Then the crowdsourcing of the collection of photographs, with, for example, competitions to, to collect pictures, or you have these uh, wiki takes events. Then we have the whole Curepedia approaches, or Wikipedia articles integrated in exhibits uh, at museums. Uh, we call it displaying Wikipedia content inside the GLAN uh, institution. Then enhancing the visibility of a GLAN's collection by, for example, covering the collection within Wikipedia. So, for example, if there is a Wikipedia article about a certain painting, and uh, the museum you are uh, doing something with, they have the painting, yeah. or the painting in the surrounding or something else, so the uh, result will be the Wikipedia article has a picture of the painting. Exactly, okay. or what they do also is sometimes linking from Wikipedia articles to further readings on the on the plan website or linking into into sources. A lot of libraries, for example, that have interesting sources which we don't necessarily upload to comments, uh, but it's interesting to to interlink them. Yeah. Then there's the approach improving editor retention within Wikimedia projects that, that was actually added by somebody from the community just a few days ago. Uh, it's the, the aspect of, of uh, encouraging people to actually meet and also bring other people uh, to, to some events, for example, so to, to, to bring their spouses to kind of show them what they're doing within Wikipedia. Then there are approaches which are combining GLAM outreach and education. Like, for example, student programs linked to GLAM outreach. There have been translation uh, programs linked to it, or also arts classes. So this is now another section of a group of kinds of partnerships. Yeah, this is kind of bridging projects, like you're bridging one side with the other, like... Yeah, and what was the other, the first section, what was the name? What was the name? Not the name was... was um, yeah, it's just various types of GLAM wiki cooperation. The other one is GLAM wiki cooperation, and then the other one we just se or I just separated, because they're kind of looking more on the, at the bridging um, function of this 
bridging with, between whom? Because uh, you were a glam wiki corporation with the museum. Yeah, one is bridging between, between the glam and the Wikimedia um, organizations. And you can also have a triple bridging with the educational institution, a glam, and Wikimedia. So the next one is combining glam outreach and professional training. So people actually do internship, they offer internships in glams for, for people um, to apply and then give them tasks like related to Wikipedia. Then we have uh, the classical Wikipedian in residence, Gillian has been one. I don't know whether there are any other Wikipedian in residence in here. No? I don't think so. Ah, you? No. no. I'm just in the picture for some other reason. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Yes, correct. Yeah. 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 It's really nice. And Photoshop me out of it. <laughs> and then we have these typical capacity building approaches. Like you have uh, Wikipedia, Wikimedia training for glam stuff. You have been doing that, right? Yeah. A lot. Uh, or glam wiki conferences directed at professionals or glam camps to foster just the exchange and improve the coordination among Wikimedians. So it's boundaries when that capacity building? What, what, does it, what do the words put? Are they supposed to? Sorry? Boundary spanner is the, like... The examples? What boundary? Here you can see, like some some of these approaches, they they uh, span the boundary again between wiki and and the glam world. Okay. So there are the 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 Wikipedians are Spanish people, and the museum people are other kind of Spanish people, and boundary means so so they to, have two to find common things between. They have two different cultures, <laughs> so. The, the whole Wikipedian residence approach, but also the approaches where you have these glam wiki conferences, uh, are based on the, the assumption that if you bring this world somehow together, either by just bringing entire groups together or having a, a person kind of going back and forth and uh, trying to be like a messenger or a, or a mediator, uh, will allow to better kind of work together across cultural borders. Okay. So now I would suggest that we break out. Um, we have, we each have four. Of yeah, these we have. Types. Exactly. Do you want to start with so, yours? Um, my group will be improving editor retention within Wikimedia projects like editathons, backstage passes, as well as facilitating discovery, um, visits, guided tours, and backstage passes. Uh, crowdsourcing the collection of photographs, which includes competitions and wiki takes and wiki, um, wiki expeditions type things. Article improvement, uh, including writing challenges and edit thons So, if you're most more um, familiar with these types of corporations, you would like to join my group. I think uh, each of the groups are eight or nine people. Um, Did you count? Give them the yeah. breakout. Yeah. yeah, we have eight, eight, nine. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so, I applied for that. We do it in the Netherlands. Okay, so and I will be as well as Axel will be right in this other room over here. Um, so where, that's where we will do it. These are the four um, topics that the app will be doing in this room. So capacity building, but the, the last, the last um, battery actually, the boundary span is capacity building. And oh, yeah. Yeah. have you gone through so they have the train? Yeah, so, so my group will be digitization, content donation, content partnerships, enhancing the visibility of a GLAMS collection and displaying Wikipedia content inside a GLAM. So if you're if you work with that or if that's your area of interest, join me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Of course, if uh, any group gets too much, we will ask somebody to sign. Yeah, that's just the last the eight people have to stay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The Wikipedia in the residence is here. The idea is to get the information out of you, and you should go there where you know about Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Are we, are we facing this board? Yeah, we're, we're working on this board. Okay. And we can just move that away. Move the chairs out of the way. Then I need somebody who will be the reporter at the end. How old do you want? Yeah, cool. <laughs> what do I, you just have to say it during five minutes for okay. the, the highlights of our Okay, cool. So what we are going to do is that we are we're going to look at each type one after the other. Hey, you have to stay here. Uh, the last eight have to stay here. <laughs> I didn't move fast enough. You didn't move fast enough. I know. No, it's on. I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah. You have to stay here. You want to join another group? Or? No. Oh, good. Okay, we'll just move, take one type after the other. And the idea is to see what will be like the general outcomes, general exact expected outcomes for each type. Maybe we can also prioritize them a bit. And especially where we have a lot of them. And the second stage will be to think about um, metrics, how to measure success in the different, with regard to different outputs and outcomes. So I just can't read them. Yeah, sure. So I would suggest that we just start with the boundary spanners, like the typical um, embodiment is the Wikipedia and residence. Do you want to read by yourself or should I read? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Chinese. Anything we have to add? Um, have there been any outcomes you have reached which are not on here? Yes. Have have you have to look it up. No, but also the, the wiki, Wikipedia in residence also does that. Ah. I can add it, but I would kind of probably subsume, subsume it. Yeah. Uh, I said about Wikipedia, but at the beginning there is usually talk about three licenses. Yeah. And the licensing model. Yeah. <coughs> Both glam stuff about free licensing. Yeah. It's easy. I think also options because I think their institutional um, priorities might be just reduce the risk of what yeah. they do, right? Yeah. Sure. What are the most important outcomes here? Um, 
Sorry, no, 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 it's fine. I'm just heavily armored. I'm just trying to reorganize my whole thing. Most obscure to yeah. people and most uh, preventing them to contribute because they can learn. Um, this is easy to someone else. They can do that as a single thing. Um, they can do, do this thing. But what they find hard is the values and the community, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, these are all specific. See, these are specific things you can learn. Yeah. But in the absence of the community, the understanding how it fits together, it, it's very hard for them because they, they then can't continue because they get into trouble. So, so just sorry, further to that, don't you think it's also about um, trying to affect sustainable practices yeah, within yeah. the within the staff? So it's not just them learning about it, but also how to incorporate it into their systems. Ah. In that case, yes, and there's a new thing to go up there, yes, which is to create an ongoing, what was what we did, we had an ongoing work schedule so that once I left, they continue, they're still doing it. So I'm out and they keep, they keep going. So that's an outcome that was, I think, really important. So you mean that they agreed to the program of work that were going to carry on? Yeah, which they developed themselves with my um, assistance about what was the most what were appropriate. But they had a clear agenda for that. Yeah, yes, they 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 learned um, they learned about the values, they learned about the te techniques are things like commons and, and, and uh, principles like not like copyright lines of things. But then to continue they have to see what what is relevant to their organisation. So they constructed uh, a, um, I could show you but you'd have to look it up. Yeah. Constructed a, a list of work to keep doing. So it's a, it's a table. It's an it's ongoing, ongoing donation, it's, ongoing... It's called yeah. ongoing work. Yeah. And their team of people who are trained um, just keep working on that. It's like a mini project. Yeah. It's part of their project. Hey. There is also the other thing about Wikipedia in Residence is to, uh, to create... Um, that awareness around the fa around the membership and the of of an organisation. So it's not just the staff within the organisation. It's also like the the you know um, the friends of and the to try and activate yeah. those. So the bodies that support that yeah. organisation to also activate them. So that's also another role that's quite important as far as the Wikipedia yeah. residences. So it's a, another activation role that happens during that. The, System there. That's about integrating into their uh, their organisation. So you're right. They have a glam has friends of the glam. Yeah. And but if they have time, and if the, in, in your work they have time to do that's one thing. And there's also the senior management. If yes. The senior management are not on board. They need yeah. to Yeah. Now, when you're writing your report, thinking of evaluation, how do you actually measure that? How do you how, how do you measure that you have achieved this outcome? Ah, I've got a letter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's from the senior executive. And yeah. it says, we are really happy that you did this and now we can continue doing this. Okay. So we with learning is actually <laughs> that's 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 you just right? don't document and you need learning. Yes, that's it. That, that was actually good. It was very good. And the creation of direct communication is also very easy to evaluate if you have this. So I didn't, example, I didn't get your point, the first point, sorry. Uh, I was writing. I mean, I'm just reading how to evaluate yeah. the response, right? Yeah, so like for, the, for, for that one, uh, I would learning, say... Learning and create, create yeah, direct just, communication yeah. is very easy uh -huh. to evaluate, right? They, like they, how? They, they have been done or not, right? No, but how? Simply you can check if there is a email list or some other ways of communication with uh, social media. Yes. Social oh, so you media kind of and website yeah. and so on. So it's a document. Document the volume of communication or the, or the volume the quality. Of effectiveness and maybe some outcomes. Well. What would be outcomes then? There's output as well. There's that, that the donations, but yes. also the their work. Yeah. It, that if you have a group, we had a group of people who were in the team, and you can easily find out 
follow your edit history yeah. after you have left. Mm. So if they continue to contribute, it's quite mm -hmm. you can you can see individuals' contributions and you can see the the actual articles that they're working on. So the, the thing would be the staff actually continues to contribute after you have left. Yes, Absolutely, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's it's an, uh, in my opinion, it's not any point if it all depends on you being there. Yeah. It, it it's not sustainable. sustainable. Yeah. The whole the it whole be a catalyst. Yeah. The whole purpose is all of this uh, skills and knowledge, mm -hmm. the whole purpose is for them to be able and willing to continue. Yeah, so it means actually that we're not able to really evaluate at the end of the because it's ongoing. We can read uh, Wikipedia in the residence period, but you a can, year after or you later. Can, but you can if if you had set up in mm -hmm. the beginning a a scope of work which we did that we wanted to complete. So that's yeah. the first lot, okay. and then mm -hmm. there's later. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. can you, you reevaluate it six yeah. months and then a year yeah. post. Yeah. So you can evaluate what you what came out. Um, in the, in the, immediately at the finish. So that's number of articles, number of contributors, mm -hmm. but importantly qualitative things like willingness to continue yeah. and management support. Mm -hmm. And then you can do the exact same thing later to see if they're still continuing and there's still management support and there's still articles without you being there. Without, unless, unless if they need you to be there the whole time, I think it's Mm. So oh, maybe right. there should no, a failure, but it's not good. It's maybe not there should be two lines yeah. though. Maybe it should be the Wikipedia in residence and then what the GLAM as an organization does. You know, so so it's you know, if you like because they're very different roles. So if the Wikipedia in residence is a catalyst, then the act, then the GLAM <coughs> continues that and whether exactly. it's yeah. their communications with their mm -hmm. f and friends and all of that kind of stuff as well. So it's a different see, set of roles for them yeah. to do. See one of the things that's an outcome is the extent of their involvement in the community yeah. in ordinary ways, like being part of the chapter or coming to Wikimania or um, being on a mailing list or any of those ordinary involvement things which before they could not do. Atilan, you have been involved in evaluating residences, right? Uh, what were the main... For addition, but not to uh, I what would be the main um, metrics or the main uh, that you would kind of decide when whether it's for the successful or not? In the residence, we didn't have a metric at this yet, time. Yet, but but what would you now, suggest? Um, we have uh, metrics about uh, uh, that, that's um, what she said uh, how many people uh, continue to edit Wikipedia after the training session or yeah. after the, the main activities. Mm -hmm. um, we have some uh, metrics about uh, categorization of uh, photography of commons and uh, reviews on multimedia projects. When uh, a lot of... Uh, uploaded pictures? Yes, uh, uh, not uh, uploaded, yes, but yeah. after... How, how many, many times they're using artists? Yes, in a, um, and different Wikipedia. Yeah. And, uh, uh, we think that uh, having uh, a lot of uh, photos is very good, but having a lot of uh, photos used on Wikipedia is uh, yeah. is better and is a, a metric of uh, quality of the, yeah. mm -hmm. of the picture. Yes, yes. Yeah. Do you have a, a kind of template that you use for this evaluation? Yes, we use... Um, different templates, uh, some templates for each partnership yep. uh, and, and uh, with um, categorization and uh, different templates about uh, the kind of uh, uh, photo um, makers yeah. and uh, who can know uh, if uh, uh, which um, material is better for, uh, for different activities. Would it be possible to link those templates to the the wiki page for this session. Yes, so yes, yes. But we have a lot of different templates. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Some people on government said we have too many templates. <laughs> <laughs> too much templates. Yes, I I I yeah, Thank you. Sebastian, any other things to add? 
um, what I read from our Wikipedia news, from residents yeah. is that the, the uh, scientists have to learn that they don't have to provide a complete paper if they want to uh, uh, edit Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So one information is, is more than, than nothing. So yeah. this, is, this is what the outcome was for them, yeah. to get in touch with a real person and to learn Wikipedia is an information source, but it's not that scientific, it's not that. Yeah, so that goes kind of in this area. The glam stuff actually learned about uh, these Wikimedia practices, but then how do you actually measure it in the end whether you have, have I actually made a change? It's a long way. The Wikipedia residence has been there for three months only, and mm -hmm. it's a change in mind, but no <coughs> more outcome yet. Uh -huh. So it's hard to observe the. Yeah. the okay. We keep in contact and we want to establish. Another period of time. How how long is the Wikipedia? Are they there permanently? Are they? Is it full time? It's, it's full time for three months. It varies across museums. Mm -hmm. No, I know, I know it does, but I was wanting uh, specifically. Uh, That's okay. Is there any experience on like the, the minimum period of time where it's worth having one? <laughs> Leon was quite <laughs> short at the beginning, and it was quite worth it. I think. There's, a, there's a range of different. Yes, so the first one was uh, five weeks. Five weeks? Five weeks, weeks full time. Mm -hmm. And my one was actually very short, mm -hmm. but very tightly worked out. Yes, very focused. And so the, that's why I say you, it's no point unless you've worked out a way of making it sustainable. So mm -hmm. we had a very tight focus. It's actually only there 13 weeks for one day a week. and. And, and out of that we have, um, it's very short, I did twice as much at home mm. because it was, anyway. Um, so we had, a, we had trained them before I started. Mm. They had a team, we had a project, we had a scope of project, we had management support, we had a computer training room, we had an entire thing set up, ready to go, and we were integrated, I uh, uh, was introduced and integrated and worked with them and their project. They had an ongoing project that they needed to finish, to start, finish and yeah. learn about anyway. So you... It worked, fitted into that. You have, you work, that, that makes a big difference rather than turning, going along and saying, well, now what? You, it's, you need, it's like any management thing. I personally think you need to work out in advance with someone in authority what you're going to achieve need to be seen to be valuable yeah. from their point of view, which yeah. means achieving their goals. So what are their goals? That's what you ask them. What do you want? I think we're already moving to the next part. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good that we just put Sorry. it down. <laughs> I, I just, well, that's the next one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, we, we're also trying to do just kind of come up with best practices to, to deal oh. with certain challenges. I just This is just not 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 very much to time. It's Wait till you arrive. Yeah, exactly. It's a bit late. Have you recorded? Have you recorded your process? Yes, I can show it to you. Yeah, no. I can show you the page. The page. But it's, it's, I can't. I've got a computer. You, I can, you can show it there if you want. There's a whole project page. Okay. It's on. It's on the web, and I can give it. Should we now okay, move on sorry. to the next types? And then we'll. Yeah, sure. The, the learnings were on our side. What we have learned is that they have very limited internet access, for instance. Okay. At the, at the museum where we work, they have very limited internet access, very low, slow and uh, oh, yeah, no time for them. Yeah. Secondly, uh, their goal, what we expected was to teach the people, but their goal is to get people into their museums. Mm -hmm. They are paid for that. Mm -hmm. So that's very different from, from our What, what, our um, what organization was it? This was the uh, Berlin City Museum. So it's a museum. I, I was talking about a library, and it's interesting because a library it has a culture that if the librarians are more like Wikipedians mm. than they are like museums. Mm, museums yeah. are holding things, libraries are sharing things, mm. and they are completely comfortable with give it away. That's their job, is give it away. They just see it perfectly. Mm. As, you're saying as museums are just trying to get the people... Yeah. Sometimes it's their measurement. Yeah. Well, okay. it, it, it yeah. depends which ones. So. 
for, for example, I have uh, uh, I had a situation that it was quite the opposite goal, and it was the Royal Castle in Warsaw, which is uh, uh, they have limits how many people can enter because of some uh, f f uh, humidity regulation and so on. So they wanted to do something to let people learn about the royal castle without coming to, to the castle. <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> that's fabulous. But that's what archives want. See, archives can't let people in because the material is too sensitive. sensitive. So they are very happy to have it on, on digital things. Museums are in between. The libraries just give it away. I think but museums want people to visit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's very interesting. Can, can I ask, does it depend on who takes the initiative in setting up the Wikimedia residence? Is it, is it the Wikipedian who says, there's a nice museum, I'd like to do that, and goes and introduce himself, or does the museum seek uh, other libraries? And does that, have a di does that have an impact on the, yeah, you know, the different routes you go down and what you're trying to, to gain from it? Um, I think What's the, the no, general I think sort of experience? Is it? Yeah. I think there has, there has to be a match between the organisation and the Wikipedia. Mm. In other words, the Wiki, they have to feel comfortable mm. with you. Um, and it, yes, and there's a lot of different routes to get there. Yeah. I think there will probably also be more people, more museums approaching Wikipedia are when, the when the Wikipedia yeah. and. and when the successes come out, if you know what I mean, when, as the movement kind of moves forward, I think there will so be more of the reverse rather than the yeah. advocacy kind of thing. The National we can hope. Library in Scotland, as you probably know, did a, a full, complete recruitment um, activity, complete with applications, CVs, interviews, um, everything. Um, and. The British Museum did a complete risk analysis on yeah. William for six months. And in my case, it had to go through <coughs> the CEO and the minister for the department of whatever it was, because they're spending public money and it's, there's a risk as well. So you, it's a professional... Mm. Uh, I really like the question uh, related to um, what it, how the impact change according to who is the promoter. So when a project is uh, done by a uh, Wikimedia chapter, a, a Wikimedia in residence, a volunteer or a different organization, if this uh, changed uh, the effect, so uh, what are the different uh, um, impact that you can actually have, the different results. I also think it's uh, maybe relevant to include peer-to-peer -peer, uh, project. So if it's a, a cultural institution, a museum, promotes uh, something seems so it becomes the active promoter of initiatives uh, uh, related to open access to open uh, content to Wikipedia collaboration I imagine that it will probably change uh, also very much the situation because uh, it's uh, an institution that talks to a similar institution and is very convincing so the British mm -hmm. library that uh, promotes a project uh, among libraries uh, it's very different than uh, a Wikimedia chapter that promotes it among libraries because they're talking yeah. to different languages uh, and I agree, but I think uh, it's um, uh, when the museum takes uh, uh, becomes a leader of the project, uh, we have some very different people to come on workshops, and the the, the project uh, is uh, more uh, visible. We have more visibility, but very different people to, to participate in the project, and. In, it doesn't match everywhere with the project we imagined at the beginning. Mm. Sometimes that changes the project. So is it a best practice to...? <coughs> it depends on um, the, the people yeah. that are yeah. If we think about challenges, best practices, um, is there anything missing? Or Add. I'm not sure whether I captured every every thought you just uh, expressed in the last minutes. I think also, I, I mean, just from from our experience, I think yeah. that the the um, sorry, it's in Africa. Oh, yeah. So the so Wiki Africa has activated a lot of glams across Africa, but um, the the 
challenges from, from our point of view has been remoteness, about having to deal with people remotely. So okay. people are very happy to join the project, mm -hmm. but that, having that kind of intimate knowledge and that ability to sit with people is, is, has been challenging. Um, and then also the... the um, so you're saying you have to <coughs> contact them through video conferences? And stuff yes, like so we've, uh -huh. we've, we've dealt with them in that way. So we've, yeah. had, we've, had, a lot of, we've had a lot of donations as, as such yeah, from, from images image and donations. things, but then of course you have problems with quality uh -huh. and mm -hmm. what passes as quality kind of right. image and not. Okay. Um, and then um, also, so we're sh reshaping the model of the Wikipedia in residence, but it also means very short, sharp connections <coughs> with people because we can only afford, we have, you know, we, we, it's not a volunteer thing, so we try and get people to to pay them some, uh, at least some, yeah. some stipend for living because obviously, well, not obviously, but in Africa we don't have that so the kind challenge of, is we don't have those social security kind uh, of support. So the challenge is to, to achieve that. much within very short time. Of yeah, residency. yeah. And what do you do to actually achieve much? Well, essentially we train, we train the Wikipedia's and residents to, um, to show value to, to the, um, to the institution, mm -hmm. but we're also the to us. It's very important that the systems are put in place for it to be ongoing, so that yeah. it becomes part of the, 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 you know, so that the it's the institution that does the work rather than the Wikipedia, because we just don't have the resources to carry on to do that on the on the kind of numbers that we're looking at. Um, and so then, the, and then the it's also is actually to teach the people in the glam to kind of do to, everything. Yeah, in the Wikipedia to to business. continue the work, yeah, but yeah. also to activate, and that's why I was saying earlier to activate the their own community around them. So it's not because of course, especially in Africa, the all glams are, are very resource um, deficient. <laughs> so to have to have other organ to have the the support. So whether it's the academic support or whether it's their own friends and and members of societies to try and activate that so that they can also contribute their knowledge because that's where the passion is, you know, so. Um, there's another reason for the money, apart from mm. just living. Yeah, that kind of essential like practice, what? yes. <laughs> well, in terms of payment, yeah. you're saying what's your name? Isla. Isla. Um, it's, it's certainly helpful to live, to have some money, but the other reason is a management reason. If the organisation is paying some money, whatever, they're more invested in, in the achieving, thing, and yeah. their, their management is more on side, mm -hmm. and they are they see value. Paying, yes, they they are more paying attention, and they will do just ordinary things like ensure that you're at some meetings, or introduce you to people, or a report to their boss themselves. So this this connection, I think, is really important because also you can have one boss and not and it's very hard to report to the entire Wikipedia community yeah, yeah. for example mm -hmm. uh, if you're if you're just a volunteer you you are technically uh, working for the Wikipedia community which may clash with what the organization wants mm -hmm. and which can create uh, difficulties I think you should split the two challenges and best practices are different yeah I know I think they're too different. I should use two colors. Mm. I put on a, I don't know if it can be useful. I, I made a, um, uh, a document, a Google document, an open one. You find the link on uh, on this talk uh, page. Uh, so if you want to edit and add uh, notes, uh, try to also add some notes. Uh, yeah. you can also, uh, it's a table. So I just I will split this so up. I don't think I can record on this. <laughs> yeah, I just have to take notes. Because best practices is what you've done well, and challenges is what you don't know yet. No, it's actually we're doing. Um, we are kind of brainstorming both. We are yeah. practicing challenges and then try to come up with the solution, and sometimes working from the solutions and identify the okay. challenge. So it's kind of back and forth. Anything else? To add? Well, let's move on then to the next type. I think that connects with what um, Julia said about how they set up the payment thing. Yeah. Because that is its a negotiation in itself that's separate from mm. what you're doing. So you have to be negotiating the time and the costs as well as 
you end up with the goals, but once yeah. they have to pay, they... Uh, what you don't want, what you really don't want, is they think you're doing this, and you think you're doing this. Yeah. And they, it's, sure. it's, that's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, so clarification of goals and roles. And, and scope, of scope in particular. Reporting roles, scope, goals. Okay. And the next one is combining glamour to education. I don't know who has been involved in that so far. The outcomes that have been mentioned in reports have been uploaded image to the commons and created new articles about the GLAM's holdings. So what, how do you define the, the outreach and education? Uh, it, it's actually projects which involve GLAM's and educational institutions. There has been, uh, for example, a project uh, in the UK involving like a, a this is the, 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 QR, the QRP, uh, what's it called? Monopedia. No, it's a Derby, Derby Museum. Derby. Mm -hmm. oh. um, they oh, okay. involved uh, translation students from France, I think. I don't know whether you have been involved in that. Uh, to translate articles about the collection uh, of this museum. And there have been cases also reported from Catalonia, where they, I think it was Catalonia. Oh, yes. Uh, Spain. Spain. <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry. Right. <laughs> um, <coughs> North of Spain. North of Spain. <laughs> Watch it, okay. Um, there they worked, I think, with art, art students. So okay. it's a really different approach. Yeah. So it's pulling, say, a university or a, an associate yeah. college into yeah. a GLAM project. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. We've had or a project could, like that. Yeah, you can combine it with the assi students' assignments in yeah. some area. We have had the talk also in the archaeological field once, yeah. but it, it hasn't ma um, materialized yet. Okay. Um, so I think the measuring, measurement there is kind of. I think yeah, measurement is essential. Yeah. But I think also if you're if you're um, employing or not employing, if you're activating students, yeah. you need to probably you have to evaluate them pre and post. You know, like what what would the if if it's involved in their coursework, which mm -hmm. is probably the most effective way of doing it, it's like the only way of doing it really for students. But to then to then see what they met. You know what? Whether they would have been involved in Wikipedia prior, and then post to find out, find out if they would consider carrying on after, and what the challenges were before they attached. You know what? Why they wouldn't even have considered it, and now what? What they thought. You know, so so that we get some assessment back from them about how difficult it is. You actually you're mentioning another outcome, which is not here, which is kind of recruit more um, contributors. Yes. <laughs> But it's also to start the practice, to start the yeah. habit of contribution uh -huh. at, at a young age, hopefully. <laughs> we, we started a project last year with a, a museum of art and some students uh, in art. And the first year, they didn't have a notation uh, or anything. For the project it was just for, for fun. Mm -hmm. And they were not very involved in it. And the, the next year, uh, it was uh, into the, the, their program, their educational program, to write articles on Wikipedia about the, the, the content of the museum, and there were a lot of them were very involved with a uh, lot of very beautiful articles, and uh, it was it's very was important to have something to give them um, a notation or something into their educational program. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Can I come in? Sorry. Sure. Um, I'm very new to GLAM. I'm from Singapore and I'm a law lecturer. And I've used it in teaching before, but not so much for the media content, more articles. Jeff. Sorry? Jeff. Yes. You're Jeff. Lee. Lee. Yes. And you are? Sorry. Had lunch with you. It's his fault. Oh. Did we? Yes, carry on. Whoops, sorry. I was going to mention you, but you could mention you. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, um, so I have run um, a, a wiki project with my students, but uh, to create articles relating to the course. 
And I think that uh, in order to incentivize them, you do have to give them a grade. So yeah. here are the downsides. Some students said it took far too much time. It was too much of a, a commitment in the course because they had other things to do in the course as well. Yeah. So they were very uncomfortable about that and said, oh, you know, it's taking up too much of our time. And this was despite my saying, you don't have to mark up anything. If you, if you, if you do know the markup, then please do it. But if you don't, I'm not marking you on whether you get the brackets right or anything. Just give me the test, give me the references, I'm fine. But some of them still complain. But then students always complain about this yeah. thing. The second thing is, <laughs> I did think about whether it, it, it would encourage more people to um, then feel that they want to edit Wikipedia. But I don't think that that was really borne out. Um, so I've run it for like about two years now. And you know, 80 students each year signed up, made accounts and all that. And I don't think anywhere near like 1% continued editing with Peter after that. They just yeah. said, oh, finish the assignment, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, no, I think I mean, it needs more than that. But yeah. I, I, I do think that it's one of those things you can't quantify. That yeah. I, mean, I really don't think a student is going to immediately go back and next week is going to write some amazing article about mm. nuclear physics. Mm. I, you know, I, I don't think that's going to happen, but I do think like in two years' time or three years or five years, they, Maybe, they might... Yeah, yeah. You know, some of them did. I mean, some because them we've did. broken that barrier, yeah. and it's breaking that barrier that's so important. Mm. But, Taking, taking that mindset. And one of the questions I asked for the, the course we did in, um, at UCT with 35 um, public art students was to, you know, the, was to ask them afterwards, like, would you now consider, before they had to, like 80% said, no, we would, I would never have considered editing. And 80% afterwards said, yes, I would now consider. I, would I, I didn't say like in, immediately, yeah, but they Something would, really long term. Yeah, something long measure. term. It's yeah. not, it's not mm. yes, but at least we've broken that barrier. And yeah. the, yes, they struggled yeah. with, the, with markup. Education mm. anyway. yeah. Educational outcomes are often long term. Yeah. But I just want to say too that Jack's mm. students' articles, um, if you're looking at another measure of evaluation, they're really good. I mean, you put them up and they make a tremendous contribution to the encyclopedia, mm -hmm. sure. so, yeah. so, and then, yeah. there was one mm -hmm. recently on what featured article or DYK or something I saw a little oh, while ago. DYK probably. I'm DYK, and it, they're really it. good. So you've yeah. got the people and the articles, yeah. and as well that you've got long term yeah. education. Yeah, outcomes. exactly. So I mean, it's difficult. You're not going to be able to evaluate immediate successes, but I mean, you've got. Okay, it's a matter of articles that are right, which is also idea. a huge challenge. Success yeah. is really the added content. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's yeah. exactly. If you, can, if you can get that's the, the few uh, teachers or professors just yeah. to run it every year and yeah. add content, that's, that's a good Also, one, one other thing which you could think of doing is not so much um, use it in the context of a course, but to reach out to student interest groups like the photography club. Yeah. The video club, because yeah. they might actually be ones like, we love photography, we don't do this as part of our coursework, mm -hmm. we do it because we like it. Yeah, yeah. And those kinds of people might actually be more inclined to carry it on. Yeah, but I, I think, think, I think yeah. you still need to balance it between <laughs> it being structured and being, you know, I, th I, think, yeah. it's, I think it's True. definitely yeah. because the thing is that students are doing all that citation, they're doing all the referencing anyway for their coursework, so I mean, mm. they might as well. Mm. And what how we got around all the quibbling and the annoyance and anger about kind of, the, the first ten edits and all of that yeah, rubbish. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's really good. It's a but but we gave them an extra. We, you know, they they got ten marks if they got their. You know, they got an extra like grade if they managed to get through that that little annoyance at the beginning. You know, so yeah. I mean, it's just I think it's about just giving them carrots. At the university, doing scientific ones routinely, like Jack does in his course. This is a teacher of uh, um, anatomy. And anatomy doesn't change a lot. Yeah. And so every year he has the same people doing the same thing. And he got a bit bored and he said, what, what, what he does now is every student does an assignment on one of the genomes and there's 20,000 of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love That's this. really cool. Yeah, I love this project. I really love this. He's a professor. He's a very important professor. And he says... He gets them to write their, their do their one genome, produce, give it to him, he marks it, he uploads it, then they ring their mother and say, look at my article. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so there's this, not only does Wikipedia get this ongoing set of quite technical, very difficult 
material, the students are much more motivated because it says every year it would otherwise throw it in the bin. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's, yeah. 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 I mean, so a that's of, value to the work. It's yeah. really, a, it's a tremendous yeah. thing. And he says yeah. they're very proud of it because they're young students and everyone can see their work. So it makes them work harder. Yeah, I also had well. that feedback as well that it was so it was so valuable for other people to be able to see the work that they did rather than just the I tutor. Found this uh, uh, what, what, what is your experience? Is it good to have a, a large scope goal for the whole class, or is it better to have like? I think you have to tailor it. I mean, ours was quite large. It was yeah. about photography in Africa, so yeah. <laughs> that was kind of a big, quite a big. Mine was thing. very specific. But we, I assigned yeah. individual topics to groups of students, and this is one of the problems because I'm starting to run out of topics. Because I run the same course year after year, and after a while, you're like, mm. you have the work. What else can I send there? Oh, that's different that isn't already uploaded. That's so why this man is perfect. Yeah. He's got 20,000 kids. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking of it. And then pick one well, we have, we is it in how, how, what languages are you? It's in English. It's, it's English. in English. Because we teach in English in okay. Singapore. Yeah. Well, you can look them up, they're terrific. Right. Okay, we, have, we have such an uh, experience with such a student groups that it, it uh, of uh, on the uh, Warsaw School of Commerce, which is let's say top economical school in Poland, mm -hmm. uh, there is an association of the of students uh, learning management, <coughs> something like this, and they established their own wiki, <coughs> mm -hmm. and they started just editing articles in their wiki and then transferring them gradually to to Wikipedia. <coughs> And the story was quite interesting because, uh, first of all, students put quite a lot of the copy view. I mean, they just copied some, some, some books. It was the first issue. And then the second issue was a kind of PO, POV forcing. I mean, they were taught by a specific professors. And in case of uh, Polish, that even the terminology is d d disputable because it's usually if, uh, translated from English and one professor is translating them in one way, the other is in the other, and then it was clashes <laughs> because they were forcing all over Polish Wikipedia one way of, 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 of term terminology forcing so, them... So was there a clash with the Wikipedia community? They did, yes, with Wikipedia community okay. which was just argumenting that some translations are wrong, for example. So, and it ended up in a really big, big mess, I mean, from both sides. <laughs> so the interpretations were... Yes, but another, another story was with this, I was already mentioned, this uh, of, uh, of Royal Castle uh, in Warsaw. And in, in Royal Co Castle, it was quite the opposite. I mean, they had an idea to uh, write the articles about first the, the, the castle as it is, and then some items inside, in exactly the way they, they would like to, including even commas and, you know, everything. <coughs> and they could not accept the idea that some, some other people will go and change their the be 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 beautiful story. <laughs> so it was, a, it was a big challenge to persuade them that it cannot be done like that in, in Wikipedia. Should we try to get one more before we come back <coughs> into the plenum? Yeah, sorry? I, I'm, uh, I'm from Catalonia. Yeah. I'm a member of Panica Wikipedia mm -hmm. and, and also and uh, I have driven some experience with uh, students yeah. and participated in others. And I think the, the wiki market is a challenge, but I think that uh, if, if you uh, can start with a wiki uh, marathon or... An editor, yeah, yeah, wiki marathon, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it, it's a good... It's a good idea because the students uh, learn in a day mm -hmm. how to edit. Uh, it's better that, uh, than a workshop. So you bring in actually also Wikipedians on the same day? Yes, yeah. Wiki millions, uh, Wikipedians and, yeah. and students yeah. and, and members of uh, some institutions.
this edition. Uh, and so uh, the, so and it would be important that you get some Wikipedians interested in the topic the students are supposed to treat, I guess, huh? Yeah, we, when the students have a topic to write and, and the situation of a wiki yeah. is that uh -huh. it's better than a workshop specific. Yeah. You uh, had one like this in Palmyro Museum, wasn't it? <coughs> yes, the, the wiki in the, the uh, 75 hours of marathon in. Ah, uh, yeah. It yeah. was a good uh, yeah. example of that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the. I will face in yeah. terms of eight hours, uh -huh. and, and I will, I will they, they the <laughs> I will face the challenge to do it for the topic of project management, and I'm not sure whether I'll get enough Wikipedians interested in writing about project management. In project management, uh -huh. and the, the yeah. colleague who's teaching project management. So. Uh -huh. Well, the articles they work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and another uh, thing that. Uh, that uh, mm, uh, the the experience I, I learn or, or that I follow, uh, mm, it uh, are better when you introduce uh, peer review between the students uh, than when you mm, say to do an article and and nothing else. It's the the quality is. It's so good if you introduce peer review between students. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and uh, teachers uh, likes to have uh, tools to 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 help them to do uh, the uh, evaluation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a bot that don't buy by Joan Guma for uh, wiki, uh, wiki uh, ingenuity of construction. Uh, it's, a, it's a subject in the ingenuity studies, mm -hmm. and there is a project with different schools. Yeah. And they have a plot to follow the, the activity of the students, and then the activity past the, the Uh, and, and so what is, what is the best practice then? Uh, the, the, uh, having this board that uh, gives, the, the, board. Uh -huh. gives the teachers information about the activity of the students okay. mm -hmm. was useful for the teachers and they... Uh, and I know that the University of Cardiff have also a, a tool for media wiki, but I, I think that doesn't work for for Wikipedia because needs access to the data right, oh, yeah. yeah. that gives the uh, teacher also information about the, the activity of the students and gives uh, charts. And okay, thank you very much. I think we're going to get back into Pleno again. Actually, the report will be a and so forth. Oh no, you only have two. I don't know, you want to do one more? I don't know, I think, I think in, the, in, the, in the break times they also kind of organize meetups and stuff before. We always have trouble with that in Wikimedia. And in Wikimania you're not supposed to extend. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So I will just ask over there how far they are. And then they're ready to come back. So Okay. Who was that? Was that someone from Philippines? Yeah. Yeah, I think I met him. Yeah, I think his username was Sky Harbour. I think he's here somewhere. We didn't meet him. I said it was. No, I don't think. But I said he was in Australia. But I said, you know, he was in Australia.
Yeah, no, I was wondering if we were getting on. You know, because I, I see yeah. them coming up and I yeah. think they're still. So it's a little bit too late to open. I do edit them, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. the metrics yeah. lab. Yeah. 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 He marked them first. I don't know if it's your really better solution because the quality is there. Then I'm going to get some trouble. And the students are then proud of it rather than it. That's right. yeah. And uh, this was also partly to solve a problem that uh, was raised by my dean. Because the dean was like, oh, but who's going to ensure that the quality is good? We don't want this to reflect badly on the university. So, okay, okay. everyone's going to edit in the sandbox first, and then I will make sure it's okay before it goes up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was wondering about that here because yeah. I think. Yeah, you have to look out for the institution's value. Yeah, because yeah. the institution wants to make sure that you know, we don't look bad. You know, yeah, that was yeah. the main thing. But that's, and anyway, um, nice you, the, our student wants to have their so work look good. Um, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Stuffing around and also, I was telling them, you know, don't worry about the markup. So obviously, yeah, someone's I mean, got to do the markup, which is me. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, and yeah. Um, um, had um, I was I don't know. And 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 really, I mean, basically, um, I just created a whole bunch of sandboxes and told the students, okay, group one's going to use this one. I mean, basically, it's aimed up for just that it's a sandbox. To use this, because I had my username, right, and then I created a sandbox. Yeah, oh, miles, I was, I'll, yeah. I'll, that works. Yeah. Now I understand. Yeah, uh, actually, right. I put all but, the art students yeah. into. Oh, you can create yeah. like a project, you know, like a yeah, like a project sort of thing. Or you can actually use it. I didn't, I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. that's actually yeah. makes sense because we've got a Wiki yeah. Africa yeah. incubator. Yeah, we just could do that too. Yeah. Or well, now I've got a project page, so you could just make like sub pages of yeah. the project. Are we supposed to go somewhere else? I think so. Oh, I think we're meant to be moving. I'll come back to Yes, I teach law at uh, the Singapore Management University. What about you? Are you supposed to go somewhere else? Um, oh, okay. okay. Oops. It's bigger. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> on, on the book it was this room. Yes, are you teaching as well? Yeah, um, I don't think that there will be um, transmitted. No, it seems to be.